Okay, today I'm going to do an experiment on the DNA extraction of a banana. Okay, so first things first, the items we need for this experiment is a small piece of banana, a zero bag, a pair of scissors, actually you don't really need it, but uh, a tablespoon, and of course a transparent bar. And another thing we need is some of this cold rubbing alcohol. I I want it I put it cold because it's better for the experiment and last but not least we will need some dishwashing soap. So let's begin with the experiment. First you open the zip on that. You take this small piece of banana, put it inside, and you close the zip up there. Then we start squishing this piece of banana. Why do we need to squish this? Um, mainly because we want to kill the cell wall to get into the cell. It's not really that it's not really killing the cell membrane by doing this. We don't really kill the cell membrane by doing this, but uh, this is killing the cell membrane by squashing is actually a misconception by many people. Squish it properly. Squish it properly. Squish it properly because. So much. So little will be. So little will do. And after that, we take the soap. What's this soap for? Um, this soap is to, you know, kill the the, the cell membrane and the nucleus wall, uh, which are made of lipids, and lipids are just basically fat. So soap use the soap to. So we we'll leave it here. You take the, you take a tablespoon. You take a tablespoon. Half a tablespoon of this soap inside. Let's see. Mix it. After that, we mix the solution. Mix it until it's really soapy. Mix it thoroughly. And after this, and after that, we take the cold rubbing alcohol. Slowly pour. Thank you. 
So what's this alcohol for anyway? This alcohol is to extract the DNA from the cell as this alcohol can make this. Wait, system error. Wait, after that. After that, we wait till we wait till the DNA rises. Okay, we wait for the DNA to DNA the strands of DNA to rise. And if you look from our top, if you look from our top, actually you can see some of the DNA strands, but it's all mixed up and it's very um such a big fluffy thing over there because um we used quite a lot of banana and that's why there are a lot of strands of DNA. If you want to take a closer look, you can take look from here and you can see like two really different two different layers yeah. separated like oil and water yeah so you see this all these little strands over there but, you, but what you can see actually is all those white bubble bubbly thing but these are actually the bubbles with the strands of DNA from the banana and this is the and this is an example of DNA extraction from banana see from the top Yep, and yeah.